Usmanov, the uh, Tajikistan boxer, 26 years old. Tokyo 2020 veteran, 2023 World Championships bronze, 2019 Asian champion at 64. And his uh, Cuban opponent right there, former gymnast, nicknamed La Amenaza, the threat. Ah, well, he certainly is that. Uzmanov has come through two good bouts to get here. He defeated three-time Olympian Louis Rishano Collan of Mauritius, 4-1 in his opener. Same scoreline against Morocco's Abdelhak Nadir, another Tokyo Olympian. Erislander Alvarez, well, if you come through for Cuba, you're going to be good. And uh, gets his chance after three-time Olympic bronze medalist and three-time world champion Lazaro Alvarez suffered a shock early exit at October's Pan American Games. And Alvarez, Erislandi Alvarez, world silver medalist last year, came through a split decision in his opener against Emilio Garcia of the United States. Alvarez in the blue up against Usmanov in the red. I would say Alvarez outgrew his gymnastics uh, body. <laughs> he's, a, he's a big man. <clears throat> right over the top from Alvarez. very much sizing each other up at the moment, looking for an opening. Both this, men missing more than they're hitting. This first round very much up in the air as we hit the halfway point. 90 seconds left for somebody to go get it. right from Alvarez scores a minute to go in round one this is what they call bob and weave <laughs> bit of a chess match at present as Alvarez gets in and scores with a left contrast to our last bout. Uzmanov has yet to solve the ring issues that Alvarez is presenting. Maybe here a little better. Great head movement from yep. the Cuban. Speed from Alvarez connects with the right. The one-two. Alvarez, and that's probably enough to win him the round. Because Usmanov, I'm not sure he landed a clean shot in those three minutes. Yes, a, a lot of observing and trying to figure it out, but uh, Kazakhstan's judge thought he did enough to win. And the Dutch as well. That's, yep. Two for Usmanov and three for Alvarez. There wasn't much in that because not a great deal happened. No. And so it's basically even. I can live with that. I think the uh, bout is uh, unfolding, second and third rounds. Yeah, there was a lot of misses. Even in the highlights, we, we're lo I'm looking for one clean shot. <laughs> Not many. No. Nope. But it's right there for both men. I'll take some of that uh, bit of grease, I yeah, think. Yeah, get it off.
wasn't sure if I could see cut by his left eye or some sort of marking. Maybe we'll get a closer look at the end of this round. Oh, that's better. That's a lot. Finally from Uzmanov. Finally found his way through. Alvarez having to respond. This is a different Uzmanov. Something that was said in the corner, or just the urgency of saying, you know, you have six more minutes to, to go get this done. And there is a, a cut, as you mentioned. Yep. There's some blood. That's what corner was looking at at the start of the round it's not in a good place and the doctor's having a good look here she says he's okay to continue that could just give Usmanov a bit of an extra boost but Alvarez with the right over the top well what it will do is it'll, it'll sense some urgency for Alvarez he will know that uh, he can't let that get out of hand right from Alvarez gets away but Usmanov is tracking him both men landing shots now good work from Usmanov trying to bully the Cuban Alvarez stepping away. Fifty seconds left in round two. Alvarez shaded the first. And I think Usmanov has done better this round, except right now, a couple landing from Alvarez. Usmanov putting punches together on the ropes. Oh, that was a big right from Alvarez. It was. And bodies. A couple of body shots right there. Oh, there's a big right. And I'm not sure if Alvarez just slipped the punch. It's turned into a slugfest at the end of the round. Oh, a bit late from <laughs> Usmanov and... An apology of sorts. <laughs> yeah. How do you score that one? Well, Usmanov is ahead on two scorecards, level on two, and behind on one. So I think four judges gave that round to Usmanov and just one to Alvarez. It's kind of how I saw it. But the bottom line is, it's all here in the nine minutes. There's some of Uzmanov's best work. Back comes Alvarez. There was, there was a lot of lunging and ducking and sliding. I, I don't think as a result of punches, as Alvarez was trying to steer clear. But he, he caught a lot. It is there for Alvarez to win. If he wins this round 10-9 on all five scorecards, he takes the contest. doesn't seem to be affecting Alvarez in any way. Good news. Head up blue, the call from the referee as Usmanov goes to work and Alvarez tries to avoid the flailing fists. 
Alvarez asked him to keep coming. <laughs> a little <laughs> paw saying, come on. <laughs> I'm not sure he wants that, but okay. There's a good big left body shot from Alvarez. Usmanov is doing quite well is that when he does have Alvarez on the ropes, he's almost stopping the Cuban from, from landing. Final 90 seconds. Still feels like it's there for the taking for either man. But as you said, uh, Alvarez needs to, to convince five here. And Alvarez's punches are a bit ragged at the moment. I think this is the kind of brawling that Uzmanov doesn't mind at all. And he's really busy. Gone as the uh, sizing up of the first minute of the bout. Oh, that was a good combination from Alvarez. Usmanov comes straight back. Alvarez, Alvarez looking tired. He looks gassed. He's got some work still to do. Trying to come forward, 10 seconds to go. Alvarez with the arm in the air. Usmanov follows suit. A close bout. He's trying to tell everybody that he won, maybe, or that he's proud of what he did. I'll agree with the second part. Did not he sure. do enough? Did he do enough to take that last round? I'm not sure. He might have got it on a couple of scorecards, but... He needs all five. Uh, yeah, that's the question. Could he, did he convince five that he took the round? The winner, again, gets Nishiyama. Usmanov gets the decision, split decision it is. Three to two, wow. which uh, would make sense because Usmanov was ahead on, well, it's, it was the last round was split as well because yep. Usmanov was two points up on two scorecards already. And so one of the level judges, if you like, gave that final round to Usmanov. It was a very hard round to score. Absolutely. Both had their moments, and so now, you know, it's a tough loss for Alvarez, obviously. And we know how competitive Cuba is. Yes. He might not get another chance in Thailand. And there's somebody waiting to take his spot. <laughs> yes, for sure. And Usmanov showing uh, a lot. He had to put up with a lot, had to figure things out, had to keep coming in and scoring, because, again, down to the final minute and a half, it could have gone either way. So three of the judges gave it to Alvarez. Not quite enough. Wow, that's close. Very, very close. So when... Makador Uzmanov from Tajikistan. All of these bouts, just keep reminding you, this is it. They win this bout, they're going to Paris. And it, it really changes your life. For some, the first time, it, it, it absolutely changes the trajectory of your career for the next, uh, well, for the rest of your life, but certainly it, it plots the planning and training for the next, what, four months? Is that where we are, five months? Um, yep, four and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Nishiyama beat uh, 
Ghana's Tokyo 2020 bronze medalist, Samuel Taki in his opening bout. Then another Olympian from Tokyo, Taifo Aliyev of Azerbaijan on a 3-2 split decision. He was too quick uh, and uh, too skillful for Islamic Republic of Iran's Ali Abibinijed in the last 16. Uh, back up door, Usmanov came through a close encounter the weekend getting the better of Cuba's Erislandi Alvarez in the round of 16. Uh, he's beaten two Olympians before that as well, Louis Collan of Mauritius and Abdelhak Nadir of Morocco. We were really impressed with Nashiyama. You see him brandishing the uh, weapon, uh, the, 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 the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the black eye. <laughs> <laughs> he has been in a few contests, but uh, he has looked good. He's a quick southpaw, yep. and uh, whether Usmanov is able to deal with that speed <laughs> left already from the Japanese. And uh, we're not waiting for the bus. They're on it and busy. Usmanov, who was the Asian champion in 2019, world bronze medalist last year. Good combination from Nishiyama. It's the Japanese who is hitting the mark early on. And slipping shots from Uzmanov. And there's a Heads collide, he thought he was bleeding. And emphasize enough, an Olympic ticket to Paris on the line here. Ismanov just hasn't found his range yet. And it's not a whole lot of difference, but Nishiyama in control, I think. Definitely on the first minute. Too many punches landed in the second so far. Armor winning the day early on, but then a good right from Usmanov. That's his best punch of the contest so far. Looked like middle of the glove connected. Already seen one point deducted in the first bout, so caution for the boxers. Can't let that happen in a tight fight. Usmanov still not hitting the target. That was better. Ishiyama. Tajikistan. Uh, wincing a little with, I think it was the inside of the glove that scratched his head or something. Already showing the scars of battle. Yes. This has been better from Usmanov, but maybe not enough. I think Nishiyama did enough in the first minutes of that round to take it, but let's see what the judges think. Well, Nishiyama only getting it on two of the scorecards. Still close, and basically 3-2 means it's kind of a draw, so it's all still in front of both of them. Nishiyama part of the Japanese team that trained in Montenegro with other Asian and European teams as well. Pretty much every team went somewhere to, to train work out with other teams. Good to see that camaraderie. See, that's, uh, I don't know what he was, had to do with, I think, the inside of the glove sliding up against his head. But I'm a little surprised. Saw him land some decent body shots at close quarters. So, I was saying as the team sort of getting together having training camps together, but, but here, Augusto Arcesio, it's all business. 
all about trying to win that quota spot. Quick hands again from Nishiyama. And he's uh, in for it here. Not a lot of movement, just throwing. I think Uzmanov is okay with that as long as he doesn't get hit a lot. He's landing on the counter, but Nishiyama with the quick combinations. He's landing two or three against Uzmanov's one. I say that, Uzmanov gets through with a combination, working the body once more. Looks like Nishiyama's in some distress. Not, probably not enough to affect him, but... Could be the body shots. <laughs> Feeling those. Yeah. Nick gone in round two. Uzmanov slipping a couple of punches there. Sure, it's my eyes to see me. That black eye is starting to look a bit worse, but Nishiyama landing with a straight left. This round looks a little better for Uzmanov than round one. <laughs> round right here in the last 90 seconds. Oh. Uzmanov better now. Right landed flush on the chin of the Japanese. Still very close contest. I feel if they, they're in close, Uzmanov is going to be the one to profit. Straight right from Ishiyama. Just a slip. Although he took another body shot. Thirty seconds to go. Still there for either man in this round. Sloppier it gets, the better it is for Uzmanov. Now hopping around. I think he's feeling pretty good. Similar to the first round, that Nishiyama started it reasonably well, but Uzmanov came on strong in the middle of it. I think if you've given the first round to Usmanov, you're going to give him the second as well. Let's see how it pans out. Um, he's up by two points on three scorecards. And you see uh, a lot of work being done on his face. Top of the eye, top of the black eye side, and look like something on his left cheek. All five judges giving that round to Usmanov. So he is in control. I think there's some fire behind the punches from the man in blue. It, and I, I think he's feeling it. A lot of work being done above the eye. And you can see it's, uh, well, it's black coming in, but I think it's, a, it's not better now. Certainly not. And just three minutes to go for both of these men here in Italy with that Paris 2024 quota spot up for grabs. Shiyama needs to up the tempo. Try and avoid getting caught as he comes in. That's a good left from Nishiyama. Needs more of that. He's two points down on three of the scorecards. He needs, probably needs a stoppage unless he can a oh, big left, close left from Nishiyama. Yep, he needs more of that. He needs a 10-8 round. Oh, and he takes one too. He's the danger. Starting to look a bit weary. Still coming forward. Turns his back. I'm not sure I would do that to Uzmanov. No, he's <laughs> done that two yeah, or three he times. Has. Body shot comes in from Nishiyama. And again.
Yes. There was no break there, and uh, he takes an uppercut and some more. Uh, he is uh, looking weathered, and there's a lot of time left. He could still get this done. But the body language doesn't reflect that at all. Antonov definitely looking the fresher of the two. Shiyama still coming forward. He's getting caught on his way oh, in. He is. And they're in the phone booth officially. And I think Nishiyama needs to stay there. And look at, no sooner do I say that than Uzmanov, a veteran, dancing around, getting away. It's a slip or a trip. He doesn't need to get in there and have the heavy business at this point. And he, I think he knows that. Yep. Staying out of harm's way. And he knows that Nishiyama doesn't have that much energy left. So if he gets away, he's likely to stay away. Nishiyama trying to rouse himself for one last big attack. But Uzmanov using his feet. And now oh, responding. That uppercut was uh, another sharp shot. And the left... Shiyama looks just about spent here. It's been great bout management from Usmanov really in this has. final round. It really has. Looked a little shaky in the first minute, minute and a half. It just wore Ishiyama down, and now it's just dancing his way to Paris. Good bout and a good performance. From Bakador Uzmanov. He is booking his return to the Olympic Games. 2019 Asian champion, world bronze medalist last year. First round, I thought Nishiyama just had the better of it. The judges disagreed. Well, three of them did. But uh, Uzmanov exerted his authority on the contest as it progressed. And we'll get confirmation of the final result. Uzmanov is returning to the Olympic Games. He has won his quarterfinal against Nishiyama Shion. 3-2 on points, which uh, suggests that Nishiyama got the last round on most of the scorecards. It doesn't matter at this point. Uzmanov now uh, the first of 16 Olympians trying to get back today. Uzbekistan, that country having a great week here seven are in position we'll make that six as one of them has cashed the ticket Dr. Abdulayev went through in our first bout from Uzbekistan and now Bakador Uzmanov from Tajikistan thank you is through to Paris. Apologies for that, but the fact remains that I, I guess I was impressed with uh, Nishiyama coming in, but the class uh, won out here. You can just see the experience having worked through tournaments and beaten very good boxers. And then in the third round, maybe he lost it. He didn't really have to show well, and he stayed out of trouble. Interesting. Uzunov actually won last round on three of the scorecards and the two judges who gave Nishiyama the first round also gave him the last so that kind of reflects what we were talking about about what different judges are looking at.